hey, to burst more drop off it. Guys, it's been about a month since I've been to the grocery store. Last time I went was March 8th. Today's April 8th. So, it's going good. There's a lot of things I, I want, but there's really nothing I need. And I'm gaining a few pounds. But it's been kind of fun. Uh, back in 2014, when we had the Ebola hysteria, I kind of got concerned and I started doing more prepping in earnest and getting more food. Whenever I went to the store, I would buy things that I would normally eat, but if we were on sale, I'd purchase large amounts so I had more in the house. And then I started buying things from the Mormons, the LDS site, the things in number 10 cans, good for 30 years. Wheat, rice, pasta, grains, things like that. Um, and learned how to eat them and use them. And that's what I've been doing the last month. I've been experimenting with all my food stores and been having a lot of fun. And like I said, I don't think I have to go to the store again for maybe months. I'm not bragging. I mean, there's probably people out there who don't have to go to the store for 10 years. Uh, but it's just been something I've been doing on a limited budget, on a limited amount of money. Every month, I would just buy a little extra, and it adds up. And now I'm enjoying it. I'm trying different things I've not done before. I've like Right now, I'm experimenting with the black beans to make bean sprouts. Not to eat them raw, because they would be more nutritious that way, because during these times you don't want to go to the hospital. And if you make sprouts and eat them raw, you could get some bacterial infection. So they need to be cooked. And uh, we'll see what they taste like. Um, I, I was worried because they have been in a can for six years. I bought them in 2014, and now it's 2020. And I wanted to see if they would sprout. It looks like they are, so I'm kind of happy about that. I've been doing a lot of baking. I've made other videos about my my molasses apple corn bread, and I've been baking the white bread, uh, making sandwiches, and I made sandwiches spread. I made uh, some cheese from the powdered milk. It's sort of like a between a cream cheese and a cottage cheese. It's a tiny bit tangy, but it's uh, got a nice flavor and texture. Made from powdered milk, and my ginger. Uh, no caffeine green tea um, and a lot of stuff with the, the wheat uh, making uh, wheat sprouts experimenting with wheat grass wheat grass I'm gonna have to experiment some more it's kind of a strong taste um, and grinding it into the, the whole wheat flour so there's it's just just been a blast having experiments with different foods and food storage and trying different things, and like I said, I'm, I'm gaining weight. <laughs> uh, there are things that I wish I had at the store, uh, like your comfort foods and ice cream and things like that. But I, I'm, I, I don't need uh, to buy any extra food. I'm good to go. Um, and been really using my time to learn how to cook things that are good for me that are from my food storage. Um, also, I bought this radio some months ago, and it has MP3s. You can use MP3s, and I use a little program to get different songs off of YouTube. I've got close to 1,500 songs on this thing, and it's been so, like, out of all the things I've been doing while I've been in quarantine, uh, listening to really enjoyable music while I'm working and doing things has been a, a very big pleasure. Um, I recommend it highly. Uh, there are programs you can get to allow you to download things off YouTube. I won't mention any. <laughs> Don't want to get in trouble. But um, yeah, I got like 1,500 songs. It's been it's been a blast. But I could show you my food storage I have in the cabinets. But uh, it's just basically cans of the stuff from the Mormons and the other day-to-day -day stuff you get to store yourself. Um, Nothing special out of the ordinary, but I also have like my pasta maker that's in the cupboard I've never used. It has a sausage attachment. I've been thinking about how to do that. I want to get into canning. So if things were to get crazy, I could catch fish and can them. That's some of the things I've been doing. Um, and like I said, I haven't gone to the store since March 8th. It's been a month. And I think 
I was worried at first because um, I was in the habit of going every week because you know you get in the habit of things. I do miss the vegetables. I only have carrots, celery, and cabbage left. Those things last a long time. I ran out of the, the fresh onions. Only have dried onions left. And I just have some apples and dried fruit. So I do miss the fresh greens and stuff. But I'll be experimenting with the microgreens um, as time goes by. I want to give a, a shout out to all the people who are working, not just in the hospitals, the doctors and nurses and so on, but the people who are working in the grocery stores, um, the gas station, things like that, that still help society continue where we would be in a bad place without them. Um, I don't like to go outside where there's a lot of people and you have people. My niece is working at Publix every day, you know, it's like, wow, you know, I don't feel like going there once a month and she's there every day. Uh, so I think we got to step up and uh, say thank you to some of these people out there who are um, helping things to continue while the rest of us are doing our part by sitting in the air-conditioning houses <laughs> watching uh, internet. Um, so not a big thing in this video, not much going on except uh, sort of an update of what's happening here at the homestead. <laughs> I'll, have, I'll have a video next on a review of the Honeywell HEPA air filter. If you are in a house where there may be other people sick and there's particles in the air you're worried about, the HEPA air filter will remove them. Um, you can still purchase them. Uh, I have an old one I bought, bought about 10 years ago. Works great, down to 3 microns. Um, so, but after I do this video, I post it. I think today I'm also going to repost a video I did from years ago about the best beaches in the world, just with a soundtrack. So if you can't get out to go to the beach, you can just turn the video on and, and watch the, uh, the beaches and, and relax, have a mini vacation in your house. So, all right, guys, uh, hope you're doing fine. And <laughs> staying away from the cooties. <laughs> Don't let the cooties get you. And uh, you're enjoying your time at home. And uh, this too shall pass. And hats off to all the people out there that are still making things run. I appreciate it. I mean, I never expected to have a calamity where I had lights and water and air conditioning and internet. I mean, we're blessed. We're truly blessed. I was expecting if there was something bad to happen, <laughs> we'd be living in a tent outside till things got better. So alright, I'm 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 truly blessed. Alright guys, take care. See you out there.